Hey there beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin and today I wanted to do a review and first impressions of a new brand, Perverse Sunglasses. A lot of you guys have probably heard some buzz about this brand. They launched about two weeks ago at Coachella and it is now weekend two of Coachella. They've had lots of celebrities stop by their booth there, try them on. They've got pictures of Kylie Jenner and a lot of other it girls honestly wearing them. Um, and they're billing themselves as an affordable, funky, fun, not afraid to break the rules, rebellious lifestyle brand. And I thought it would be fun to order a couple pairs, show you guys what they look like when they arrive, what they're packaged like, and what I think about them. As a little bit of background, this brand was founded by the founder of NYX Cosmetics. After she sold NYX Cosmetics to L'Oreal, she got bored, she wanted to create something new, so she focused her efforts on the sunglass brand. Obviously, I'm a fan of NYX, so I was really excited to try Perverse Sunglasses. A lot of the Perverse Sunglasses are around $40 to $50 in price. There are some that are a little cheaper, I think around $35, some at $40, some at $45. So there's different price points. And I also was able to find a discount code for these when I ordered. Um, I think it was because it was the opening weekend for the brand. But they also sent me um, a discount code when you enter your email to sign up for their email list. So you should definitely check that out if you're interested in ordering. A lot of people, and myself included, when looking at some of the styles on the website, might be reminded of Key Australia, which is another sunglasses brand at a similar price point, um, which I love. I have about three pairs of those Key Australia sunglasses. Um, so I was really excited to try this perverse brand because the more the merrier. I'm just now, I'm just now really getting into sunglasses as an accessory that I love. I have kind of a big head. Um, I'm kind of just a big person. I'm like 5'10", and so sometimes the sunglasses from like Forever 21 and H&M are just too small. They like don't go out all the way to my face. So I like this trend of bigger frames. It's definitely appreciated in my book. To get onto the packaging, the first thing they included was a little thank you card. Um, and it just says, we've arrived in style. Made in the shade, throwing shade, all love, no shade. Satisfied every shade of behavior with your new perverse sunnies. Fashioned by us, influenced by you. And they fit two boxes into this cute little package. And the boxes look like this. They say perverse in kind of like a glossy finish on the front. And um, they've got a magnetic closure. And they say, hello, beautiful. And then this is kind of how the box opens up. Your sunglasses will be sitting in a plastic bag on top of a little, um, what are these called? Dust bag. So this is cute, the dust bag is branded with the Perverse sunglass logo and then on the back it has like the definition of Perverse deliberately deviating from what is regarded as normal. So that is what that looks like and this is great if I am ordering sunglasses that are over $30 I expect them to come with some kind of dust bag so that you can keep them nice so I really like that they included one of these. Then opening these up, this first pair is called the barrel and I got this in the bamboo color so these they're packaged with one end in a little slip and then one has the perverse sunglasses tag on it and um, these are like a bamboo color on the frame and then this fun orange color on the side and they've got the little perverse arrow on them as well and so this is what this pair looks like on I think these are really fun. I really like that this lighter color is a little bit more unusual. It's not something I see a ton of the time in sunglasses. And then I also liked the pop of color with the orange sides. So I thought these are cool. Um, they're a little smaller than I expected. They looked huge on the model and they are a little tight on the sides. Um, I feel like my face is stretching the legs of them a little bit but I overall think they're really cute and I'll get a lot of wear out of these. I just want to know, for the sake of honesty, that these are made of a really lightweight feeling plastic, which I guess on one hand is nice because they're not weighing you down, but on the other hand, they do feel a little cheap, if I'm being totally honest. Like, this is just, they don't feel expensive, they don't feel luxury at all. Not that Perverse is trying to be luxury, I get that it's a totally different price point, but just so you guys know, my honest opinion, this pair does feel a little cheap. 
Moving on to the second pair I got, same little box setup that pops out like this. And these ones are called the Redondo uh, frames. And I got these in eggplant. Just in case you guys are interested, I will list this in the description box below if you really like these particular styles. So again, this one came with a dust bag, tag on one end, sleeve on the other. And these are a bit bigger than the other ones. They feel a little nicer as well. They have like a bit of more weight to them. They're heavier. They've got some metal elements. So overall, I would say these feel more like a pair of key sunglasses, like a nice quality versus these were really cute, but they feel cheap. So these are a really cute purple with some gold on the sides and they look like this. So these ones are obviously bigger. Um, I think they're really cute. The purple, I feel like might be clashing with all the blue I have on. I'm not sure. We'll see what this looks like in playback. But I think these are fun and I think I will get a lot of wear out of these ones as well. This definitely would be my favorite pair out of the two. I feel like they feel less cheap. The material feels nicer to me personally at least. And also they're, I feel like they're bigger, they're wider, they're better sh like size for my face. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments, which pair you like better. Um, I do think they're both cute and I'm obviously going to wear them both. This pair is again called the Redondo. I went back and looked at my order summary for this order and I realized that actually the price points on these might be the reason why they feel like such different quality. These, the barrel sunglasses, were $35 and the Redondo were $45. So just so you know, that could be the difference in price point for Perver sunglasses between cheap plastic and something with a little more metal that feels a little bit um, better made at higher quality. So um, still like these, still gonna wear these. So that is my first impressions review of Perver sunglasses. I love that they come with the cute little dust bags. I think that's adorable. I love all the packaging and how they showed up really nicely kept in those boxes. Um, I think that's a great way to package them. Definitely makes it feel like a special purchase when you're opening it. I can't wait to see more from this line. I'm um, a big fan of Tony Co, the founder of Perverse Sunglasses slash NYX Cosmetics. And I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. Have you guys ordered from Perverse yet? What styles are you interested in? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos or a thumbs up if you liked this one. Thanks guys. Bye.